Good morning, everybody. My presentation today is going to be how to make pizza. Um, so first, let's talk pizza. Pizza has been around since the, like 1905. It came from Italy. Uh, Naples, Italy, and it was food for common people. It was uh, considered food for the poor. Uh, and it was one of the queens that made it more popular because she wanted to eat with common folks and then she ended up loving it and then it just kind of came overseas and came over here. Um, New York is known for pizza, mainly just for it being a pepperoni pizza and it started off in Domino's when that uh, pizza chain started. That's kind of where we got the pepperoni pizza from that happened here in 1950. Um, so what I chose was pepperoni pizza, which was really easy. Um, <coughs> I'm just gonna say don't make pizza crust like me because this did not turn out the way it was supposed to. I did not let it rise or um, do any of that good stuff, so don't do that. And there's plenty of different kinds of pizza crust you can buy out there. Um, I thought this was gonna be the easiest. It's just not gonna be the prettiest. So first step first, you pick out what pizza you want to make. Um, so the varieties of pizza, you can have it for every meal. Uh, you breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then there's fruit pizzas, and there's dessert pizzas. So you're going to choose which one you make. And of course I chose pepperoni because that's the one I like. So first step, crust, and then your sauce. Because if you're going to have an Alfredo pizza, you need Alfredo sauce. So pour this on there. This is just a basic pizza sauce and I just added my seasonings to it that I like. I'm going to spread it around and put how much you want on there to your liking. So if you've never made a pizza at home before, it's actually a lot of fun. I like to make them with my kids. They're a lot of fun. Sometimes. a lot of work. It's really messy, but you make the best out of it. And then your toppings. These are cute little mini pepperonis. And this isn't going to be the best looking pizza you guys have ever seen, but I think you get the gist of it. You add your toppings. And the reason pizza is so versatile is because you can put whatever you want on there. Pepperonis to your meats, to your veggies. Or if you don't like meat, you can just put all veggies. And some put their cheese on before they put the rest of the toppings on, but I like the cheese melted on top. So I'm putting the pepperoni on first. You can do both. So I got the pepperonis on. And then your cheese. When you put your cheese on too, you can also add some Italian seasoning, some Parmesan, some garlic, just for a little more flavor, however you want to do it. And then your next step, uh, I mean, okay, we forgot to preheat the oven. Don't forget to preheat the oven, you guys. I've done that a lot of times too. Okay, so there's your cheese. And there's your pizza. You have to put it in the oven for how long it needs to be cooked. So in the original instructions with this, after you let it rise and you net it and you do all that good stuff, you put it in the oven for five minutes and then you put your toppings and cheese and on there. Then you put it in the oven for another 15 minutes. And all the crust, the crust will be good and then the cheese and everything is melted and done. See, I didn't do it that way. I messed up. <laughs> you bake it for how long you need to and then you let it sit for a few minutes you don't want to burn your mouth and then you enjoy and this is making pizza and this is why pizza is versatile you can't find anything else that we eat that you can make so many different things of and alter and make your own no. Good.